Welcome to the shooting show. This week we follow Jeff Garrard on pigeon pest control down in Essex. Plus we bring you all the latest news from the shooting world. Right, well we're out after the pigeons again, uh, but today there's going to be one or two firsts for me. Um, to start with, we're using Ely VIP Steel with a new Pro Eco Wads, which I have here. I have two here, and these are biodegradable, and they would should melt down in the wild. That's the whole point of these. That eventually they will melt down in a short space of time. Uh, meltdown in the wild. Um, what we've got, have a little experiment. Got a couple here. Ordinary water, tap water. Again, this is not scientific, but what we're trying to prove or to achieve is a this Pro Eco Wad once fired and it's in the in the environment, you know, with the normal like dampness in the mornings, a bit of rain, you know, eventually this will break down, you know. So we're going to have a little experiment. It's going to last about six or seven hours today. How long? Probably how long we're here. And we're just going to see at the end of the day, see what the state of the wads are. Look at that, look. That's how desperate this year's been, look. Cobwebs on me cartridge tray. I hope you lot feel sorry for me out there. Right, um, we're using the Marocci uh, semi-auto again today. Uh, and because we're using the Ely uh, steel, uh, I'm going to have to change the choke. So, basically, Very simple, as is most chokes on most guns. Take that out there. We're now using steel shot. So we'll slide that one in there. It's improved cylinder. So we now have gun ready. One part. Now we have the the new Ely steel, and this is a first for me. Uh, I've never shot steel at pigeons, so it's quite a few firsts today. So we're shooting a 32 gram five Pro Eco wad. And the last job, uh, Air Defenders, Sense Digital, DX5. Now, I mean, they come in a lovely case. Um, if you just want to take your Air Defenders out and leave your case behind, you have that there. But, as like everything else here, you know, I can get everything to the truck, everything to the hide. So, got your spare batteries, got your cleaner, got your cleaning gel, uh, anything else in there. So, put that down there. So, if you were game shooting, you'd put the small pack in your pocket? Yeah, if you, if you was out game shooting at the start of the day, you know, you'd take your stuff in here, take all your gear in here, 
Then just take the small little uh, compartment out, stick it in your pocket, end of the drive, take your ear defenders out, put in the in your little um, pouch, and then in your pocket until the next drive. But press the button. Game mode has come up. We're ready, ready to go. Oh, a lot of pigeons off there, isn't there? Well, there we go. The first ever shot with a knee leaf steel cartridge, Pro Eco wad, one kill. Target better. I think I might pack up now. I'd had a shot at the first one, and the second one just whipped over the top, going with the wind, and it just poof, crumpled it. Nice. I've got a surprise for you, Jeff. Not if it's another one of your magpie calls. Here you go. <laughs> Multi species, then, huh? Right, I'll tell you what. <laughs> People just don't understand what I have to put up with in the hide. Yeah, we've got one coming straight at us here. Straight at us. Go on, that's come, that's come. Well, that's my first box of Ely VIP steel, the Pro Eco wadding, and shot 24. Well, I've got three in there, so it's 22. I've got 14 dead out there, which I'm quite pleased with. In fact, I'm very pleased with because I've not made any allowance or difference. I've just shot them as I would do any other day, and what are over the decoys? The steel seems to be doing the job, really killing them. Coming over the hedge, coming up here, let the hedge steer.
Top one. No, the one to the bottom one. Bottom yeah, one. bottom one. Right in front of us. No, 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 no. Right here, right in front of us. <laughs> Dufa. Super duper Ely VIP steel. For Dufa. Five past three, I've just come past our little experiment. And if you want to zoom into that, that bit in there, no more than two hours, two and a plus hours of these Pro Eco Wad. And look at them. That has got to be a very, very good indicator of these Pro Eco friendly wads of what they do. This is just two hours, over two hours, and they're already breaking down. That has got to be fantastic news for the shooter. One. Definitely? Now 10 to 4, been here for about, probably about 3 hours now, just over 3 hours, um, coming up for 4 hours. Whatever the bag was, there's two more in it. And we're probably up approaching now 70 70 plus birds um, the uh, the steel cartridges uh, yeah I have to say um, it's the first time I've really ever shot steel um, in, a, in a good amount and it's killing the birds you know I'm hitting birds nicely kill them in the pattern um, and it's doing the job um, we, we've looked at the the eco pro eco wad um, in the water that we put there to start with and I was just shocked actually to see how much that it had dissolved down and broke down and that's in now it's probably about three hours now in the water um, so and that's that's to me is very encouraging because as a as a pro fiber wad man nearly you know most of my shooting career um, it's nice to see that Ely have come up with a with a a, like a pro eco friendly wad that will break down on its own accord in a very short space of time um, and that's the way the future is it's got to be that way um, so it's a good thumbs up for Ely
next one will be the last one. That's another day done. Um, picked up 94, um, which is very pleasing on here because we haven't been flushed with pigeons this year. That's so nice to get out and, and uh, shoot a few. I've decoyed really well. Um, but for me, the biggest thing about today is the fact that I'm using a Ely 32 gram 5 shot steel, which is a first for me. Um, and it's also a first because it's the Pro Eco Wad. Um, and at the start of the day, we put two wads into a bit of water. This is what they are when they're fired out of the gun. And this is what they look like. That's after probably four hours. Hmm. So four hours, they've sat there in that tub of water and they've dissolved there. They're, that is just amazing to me. I mean, any serious shooter out there now that's concerned about the use of plastic, they have no need to worry anymore because seeing that there, whether you're a duck shooter, you're shooting on the grouse, you're pigeon shooting or whatever, the fact is now that there's a biodegradable wad that replaces the plastic wad but does the job of the plastic wad, it's here in the Ely VIP Steel Pro Eco Wad. It's the future and I'm so impressed with it. I've been using the three shot Marachi um, Auto today um, and the good thing about it is obviously I've been using steel cartridges so they've got steel chokes, so I stuck the steel choke in. Um, again it's another good gun in the hide you know, been, the good thing about that, because I'm using steel cartridges um, I changed the chokes to a steel choke and it's performed brilliantly. Over the decoys, couldn't wish for the gun to shoot any better. Uh, you know, really happy with it. Jeff finally builds a bag there, and now it's the Shooting Show News. This is the Shooting Show News. There's a new threat to the use of lead, as it emerged that the European Chemicals Agency will be developing proposals for further restrictions on lead shot across the European Union. They will formulate these proposals over the next two months. It's possible that they could suggest a complete ban. It's not clear how they will move forward or if the UK will still be affected despite Brexit. Basque said it was working hard to ensure the interests of the UK shooting community and ammunition manufacturers are fully represented in Europe. Save the dates for next year, the 5th and 6th of September 2020. That's when the British Shooting Show's second event will take place at the Exhibition Centre in Liverpool. Spanning more than 8,000 square metres of space, it's set to echo the scale and ambition of the NEC event, but in a northwestern location. Head to shootingshow.co.uk to learn more. Don't miss the special edition of Sporting Rifle, on sale now. It's got the magazine's first ever gatefold cover, adorned with the Blaza R8 Ultimate, which is also the main review rifle this issue. Inside we celebrate 10 years with Peter Carr as editor, and reveal the scores of more than 120 heads measured by the Basque and BDS service, delve into what's made the 6.5 Creedmoor so appealing, and go hunting with Paul Childerley, Chris Dalton, Jason Doyle and more. That was the Shooting Show News. Well that's it for this week, thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show.